This is Twit. So actually, something fairly monumental happened in the past week, and this might, if it wasn't maybe for the Google thing, ar- arguably this is kind of the biggest biggest news in a way, although it's incomplete as of today. So Microsoft AI, which is that organization, um, created... Um, I think it was in March 2024 in the wake of the Sam Altman drama, right, at OpenAI. Mm-hmm. Um, was created by Satya Nadella, right, as a, uh, using uh, the former CEO and many of the executives and engineers from Inflection. Is that right? Yeah, Inflection, right? Yeah. Uh, Mustafa Suleiman, right? Yep. Um, he was supposed to be the consumer AI guy, but I don't know yes, how well that yes, went. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. All right. So there was a uh, kind of a co pilot kind of announcement at some point later in the year, blah, 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 whatever. But it was just like, okay, whatever. They're working on co-pilot stuff. We get it. But we knew all along, like part of the deal here was this is like a, a plan B of sorts, right? For open AI. Like if, if these things, if this whole relationship goes south, we need to have yeah. these capabilities in house. And so they have been working on their own, I don't want to say greenfield, but like their own in-house, you know, Microsoft models, like AI models, right? And um, they've now released uh, at least one of them. I, there might be two, um, but they are there's there's one that's really straightforward, where you're like, okay, no, it's, this makes kind of sense. Like it's a um, it's a natural speech generation model. Um, it's available now in various places. It's coming to Copilot, so. Um, it will address certain use cases, et cetera. And as they released this, they had this big discussion on the blog announcement about it, which I kind of went back and looked because I was like, did I miss this? Have they been doing this all along? And no, this is the first one. Um, they are talking very much about how um, different use cases require going to require different models. And this is something we see all the time. If you paid attention to the recent Google announcement with the new Pixels, uh, those devices ship with over 20 AI models, like on the device. Um, the Copilot plus PC, when those first came out over a year ago, I believe the number was over 40, right? And uh, and we talk about this sometimes. If you if you're familiar with in Microsoft with Windows, you know so you can go into um, Paint or uh, I think Photos does this as well. And there'll be a little uh, kind of icon up in the corner. It's like you got to download something, and it's like, what is this? It's like you have to download a model because. One of those little AI, local AI features requires an, a, an AI model before it will work. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you think like uh, we tend to think about AI model, well, I'm, at least I do anyway, like cloud models as kind of like these big things and they they do everything. And then they make versions, obviously, to do different things. But increasingly, it seems like for local AI, especially, it's like we're going to have there's going to be a lot of these things. They're going to be like DLLs. They're going to be like just all over your computer. Yeah, and unfortunately- you're also seeing a case, too, that generalized models don't work as well. Hallucinations yes, come right. from yep. this you know, uncertainty in the probabilities mm-hmm. of the different Markov chains. So just narrow the yeah. scope, and there's yeah. not a lot of uncertainty. So this is, in many ways, a differentiator for Microsoft. You know, it, it, like OpenAI has several models, but Microsoft by now has, you know, <laughs> like dozens and dozens. I mean, they, there's there's lots. And so mm-hmm. uh, one of the things that Microsoft AI is doing is making these like highly customized models yeah. for very specific use cases, right? <clears throat> and they started, the first one they released was for voice. And the, and the explanation, this was not credited to a human being, but the blog post that Microsoft put out, Microsoft AI put out, was that voice is the interface of the future for Microsoft or for AI companions? Um, <laughs> because it's Microsoft AI, uh, these models are all going to have a name that starts with M A I dash. So mm-hmm. it looks like missing an action a little bit, which you know <laughs> maybe I wouldn't have gone with that one personally. That but, would be M I A. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I'm you know being vaguely dyslexic or whatever. Um, so anyway, the first model is called M A I Voice One. So this is high fidelity, expressive audio, um, single multi speaker scenarios, meaning speakers like people like speaking, not speakers, <laughs> you know, uh, physical speakers, but, um, you know, whatever, but there's another one. And apparently this is available now on something called LM arena, which is a platform for evaluating models. And it's going to come soon to trusted testers via an API, which they've never explained, but the other one is called. MAI1 preview. And this is their first foundation model trained end to end. 
uh, and it offers a glimpse of future offerings inside Copilot. And the quote here is, we are actively spinning this flywheel to deliver improved models, and we'll have much more to share in the coming months. Coming months, like November, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, when Ignite is happening. So we're probably going to learn uh, more about this there work. There does seem then. to be a lot piling on in the Ignite time frame. Yeah. So this is actually, this is very interesting because when you think about Microsoft's relationship with OpenAI and how kind of squirrely it is and how they very clearly do not trust or even like each other. And at some point there is going to be a break, it seems, um, you know, getting your own models up to speed is a big deal. Microsoft has other models. Obviously they do Phi and uh, Mu and other things, but yeah. th these are the first that came out of this organization that was specifically created in a way to kind of slot in maybe when, uh, for open AI to be alternatives to open AI's models. Yeah. And it seems I uh, will learn more, you know, maybe I'm going to see here, an but, MAI GPT five, like let's go for it. Right. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know, like, well, but, but maybe not. Right. In other words, um, we, we, we spent a couple of years there waiting for GPT five to occur and then yes. uh, it kind of landed with a bit of a thud, but it's this big thing. And I know they then build off of that and whatever. But it's possible that instead of doing a big thing, that what Microsoft AI and you know, and maybe this is part of that consumer uh, thing where it, it you know a lot of it's going to happen on the device. Maybe, maybe what they release is twenty or fifty small models, you know, very yes, specific, and, it, and some models. kind of orchestrator that you yeah, can't. Yeah, see. yeah, that's so a that good you, word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So the yes. you know you you type in your request. The orchestrator and it, now has yes. conversations with each of these specialized. That's LLMs right. and composes together an output. So that's and then yes, you can I, call it, it AGI, and it'd be hilarious if Satya <laughs> beat yes. you know Sam to the punch on using that. <laughs> that would be funny, actually. Um, what, interestingly, uh, this might have been the only AI conversation in recent memory where I, I wasn't thinking about saying the word orchestration, and and then you said it. And actually, after, right as you said that, I realized there's actually language in this post that kind of talks around that a little bit. The mm -hmm. idea being that the voice model they have, the way they say it is it's something, you'll see it in uh, Copilot Daily, which is that kind of goofy interface where it's like, oh, here's what's going on, you know, like what's going on in the world today? And it tells you whatever. Copilot Podcast, which is like the um, like the Google uh, Notebook LM, you know, audio yeah. overview feature. Take, right? You know, summarizing using a version of my voice. I get it. Yeah, and Copilot, yeah, exactly. And, uh, and Copilot Labs. And, but rolling out to Copilot, meaning broader, like Copilot, as we think of Copilot in the coming weeks to address certain text use cases. So actually, they are going to orchestrate its use, right? This first model, and that itself is almost like a test of the model when you think about mm -hmm. it, right? Because Copilot is, in this case, the orchestrator working with multiple models, right? And in some cases, it's going to say, all right, we're going off to... Uh, MAI, I got to wrap my head around that. Uh, MAI Voice One, and for whatever scenario, because that particular model is very good at the thing that it needs to do, either to output something to you or uh, determine the answer to some question. Well, this one's not going to answer a question, but this one is probably just about output. But it's, um, yeah, I mean, I, so. Yeah, we can also thank uh, thank uh, Stevie Batiste for putting that word into my brain, and now it's lodged there forever. And uh, but. Yeah, I see it. I kind of see it everywhere now. And I, yeah, I think you're onto something. I think that's, uh, that's where they're going. Yeah, no, and it, and it, and it obviously makes a lot of sense. It's, it addresses the, sort of the key issues is how you fight hallucinations. The coordination part is going to be the hard part, but it also implies that copilot's a bad name. Because the problem yeah. with copilot is the implication that there is one thing sitting yep. to the right of you that helps you. Yeah. And every really productive developer I see using these tools are running half a dozen or more right. yep. different LLMs in different roles simultaneously, generating mm -hmm. bits of code and testing it and working through integrations and so forth. Like it's, uh, as much but, as I love the Copilot name, it just hit me recently. It's like, this is not what's happening. It's not this one thing. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this little highlight from a much better show <laughs> and longer, too, called Windows Weekly. The whole link to the show is right below me. And, of course, we stream live right here every Wednesday. You can watch us do our thing or download it 
here or in your favorite podcast player. Uh, best thing to do, what do they say? Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you.